Hello and welcome to Touch Plus. My name is Martin Periniak. Today I'm going to show you how to create content for multiple screen sizes in InDesign CC. We are mainly going to focus on the alternate layout and liquid layout options in InDesign. So first of all, let me show you how to create these uh, alternate layouts. Well, probably the easiest to do it is by clicking on this arrow here in the Pages panel, which will give you a drop down, and there you can choose Create Alternate Layout. Once you choose that, you will get the option to uh, set it up as a different format. But before doing this, let's just double check the size of um, our original page. So I'm just going to use uh, the Page tool, which is here in the toolbar, and check the size of this page. So this is perfect size for an iPad. So that's that's great, we already have everything set up. But while we are here with the page tool, we can also see that we have a liquid page rule option here. And that's set to controlled by master. Now this means whenever I start changing the size of this page, which I can test here as well, it should automatically change uh, the objects on this page. So it should follow uh, the changes of the size of the page and the aspect ratio as well and based on that changing the uh, objects around and changing the whole composition. So if it's set to control by master then most of the time you won't see any change but if you change that to scale for example and then you start scaling the page you see it immediately starts following the changes of the page size. Now, with the page tool, whenever you let go after dragging the corners around, it snaps back to the original size. You can always change it if you hold down Alt while dragging it around, then when you let go, it will update. But let me just go back uh, one step. I don't want to update it yet. I just wanted to show you that you can do this from the liquid page rule option. But as you can see, we have more options here as well. Now, if you want to learn more about this feature, I already covered this uh, liquid page options in, uh, in a previous tutorial when it was a new feature in CS6. You can also find that here on Touch Plus. But now I just would like to concentrate on showing you how to create these separate layouts for different uh, formats. So once you want to create another version, let's just say I would like to create another portrait version, but for print, then I can also do that here. But before we create the alternate layout, I'm going to rename this because it's a little bit misleading. At the moment it says A4 vertical. If you double click on the name, you can easily uh, change that. And I'm just going to call this iPad because this is already the size for iPad. And V stands for vertical. So that's the portrait version. And now I'm going to click on this little drop down and choose create alternate layout. Now from here the page size can be set to A4 and then the name automatically is going to be A4H but that's because this is a horizontal or landscape orientation at the moment. If I change that to portrait then it will be A4V. So this is going to be the one that I'm going to use for print. Uh, is the same portrait layout but remember the liquid page rule on the original one is set up to uh, scale. So that means if I have the liquid page rule set to preserve existing, it will automatically scale all the objects on this page to fit the A4 size. So I also have these three options turned on um, and I'm going to talk about those shortly. But let's just click on OK for now. And as you can see now we have an A4 version as well. And if I zoom a little bit closer, we can see that uh, InDesign did quite a good job of resizing this. The only problem is here at the bottom, the image doesn't fill uh, the whole page in completely. So what we can always do in that case is to go into the layers panel and choose the image. And I actually have two uh, versions of the same image just to create that effect of the image in front of the text. So for that I have two versions and I'm just going to resize them now, both versions together and uh, place the image into the A4 version, something like that. And then maybe we can move the text as well a bit up, so I'm just going to select uh, that text and the one above it and just move it up to somewhere there. And yeah, we have to move this one up as well together. Okay, so now if I go back to the Pages panel, let's have a look. 
So this is the iPad version and I'm just going to zoom out and that is the A4 version. So once again, iPad and the A4 version. Now if you want to see this side by side, we can also use this little icon here at the bottom called split the layout view. So if I click on that, we can see them side by side. So that's one here on the right and the other one on the left. Okay, so the iPad version and the A4 version. Obviously there's a big size difference between the two. But what if I want to do now the uh, third version, which is going to be the iPad horizontal. So I'm just going to go back to normal view, uh, no split view, and I choose the uh, iPad version. And I'm going to do this first without changing the liquid layout options. And I'm going to show you another way of setting the liquid layout up. So it's even faster to create the third version. So I'm going to click on this, choose create alternate layout. And I'm going to choose um, the landscape format. So it will be iPad H, set up everything the way it is. And then I'm going to click on OK. So now we should have three versions here and I can double click on this just to have a look at it. Now in design, because we used uh, the liquid layout rule uh, scaling, it did the scaling really well, but it didn't really align uh, the items on the page. So to be able to do that, I'm going to do a different liquid layout rule and I'm going to actually delete this. So I'm going to uh, click on the drop down and choose delete alternate layout. We don't need this one. We will uh, have the original uh, vertical version. And uh, I'm going to make a couple of changes here. So first of all, I'm going to again select the page tool. And uh, if I click on any of the items here, I can change the liquid page rule on them. But first of all, we have to change that to object based. So once it's set to object based, then I can select any item in my design. Uh, with the page tool and I can make changes to them. So for example, I can decide to have this circle here and uh, have the page tool selected and uh, I can click on this little circle here on the left to lock it onto the left side. So the left side of the page like that. And now if I start resizing it, that part will always stay there. So no matter what I do with the page size, this element will be always close to the left side. So it's, it's still moving up and down, but it's fixed to the left side of the page. And um, that is a good way to fix it. We can do the same thing with this element here as well. So let me just select the text, lock it onto the left. This one can also be locked onto the left, while this one here can be locked onto the right, lock to the right, to the right. All of this text here on the right can be locked there even this one and then the text here can be logged onto the top so i'm going to click on the top to fix that element and then i just need to select the text and lock it also onto the top and just like this one here lock it onto the top now if i start changing the size if i just zoom out a bit uh, we will see that the text will be fixed onto the edges and the text on the top will be fixed onto the top but if I want to also keep the text on the left side, I can also do that once again, just select it. And with the page tool, make sure it's not only fixed to the top, but also fixed to the left. So I select both of them, fix that also to the left, and maybe even this one, fix it also to the left. So they will be all fixed, uh, not just to the top, but to the left as well. So now if I move the size of the page around, we can see how it works. So now that we have everything ready, we can create the alternate uh, layout from this. So clicking on the drop down, choose create alternate layout, and then choose the uh, horizontal or landscape version, iPad. It's already called iPad H. And I choose liquid page rule preserve existing. In this case, that's the object based. And I'm going to still keep link stories and everything else. So now if I click on OK, we will get a version like this here. Now the image is a little bit too big, so we can always change that. And unfortunately, the text is also muddled up a bit. It went too close to each other. So it is not perfect, but it can easily be fixed. And of course, it will take not much time to uh, just update the design itself manually. So I can quickly select these elements and move them around until I'm happy uh, with the layout. 
I can also move the image around. But what's more interesting is that if I want to change something, let's say the text, uh, this 30 has to be updated to 25, for example, then what I can do is to go back to the original design, which is in this case, the iPad V. So that was the first one. So if I change it here, the text, and I go to any of the other designs, and I'm in normal view, I will get that little warning sign that the text has been modified in another version. And if you remember, that's the option under the create alternate layout, which is called link stories. So if you have the link stories turned on, whenever you create an alternate layout, you will get this really neat feature. So you can very easily update in all of your versions uh, or alternate layouts, the same text. And one more thing that I wanted to show you is that you can always move these different uh, alternate layouts around by click and dragging them and then you can decide which one should be first and which one uh, should be last. So I have my print one here in the front and then I have the two iPad versions next to each other. So that's all I wanted to show you in this part of the digital publishing series here on Tatsbus. Hopefully you found it useful and make sure you join me next time as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.